Hello, Hello Floss Tube. Tube. We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Ronnie. Cash is playing, watching Disney Channel. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. Or get our mouths licked off by <laughs> Rob. One of the two. Uh, football scrimmage. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. They did great. <laughs> um, but first game is this weekend, so we're mm -hmm. excited about Tomorrow. that. Tomorrow. We're going to make some shirts and... Mm -hmm. Be cheerleaders. Um, it was their first scrimmage, so they were they had first game jitters and whatnot. It was fun to watch, so it was a lot of fun. Okay, um, lots of questions, lots of comments. Loved reading all of your guesses for the farm animals that are coming. It is not going to be a monkey, <laughs> and I won't be able to tell you today what it is going to be. But if you watch your social social media later, you should be able to see it. Gary is not making an appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, it was There's fun no to hear on the farm. Right. a lot of people are uh, join, just joining us. They heard from us from different channels and they're rewatching the old ones. So to hear about Gary the monkey again mm -hmm. is just very funny. Um, okay. And the story last week about Gary the monkey, the, the lady that had the monkey that took him out in the yard to eat the hornworms. Yes. <laughs> Um, so I have read on various sites that you can't feed your chickens the hornworms after they feasted on your tomatoes because they're poisonous then because, you know, the nightshade plants your chickens can't have. I don't know if that's the case. My chickens are divas. They will not touch the thing. They run like little girls away from me holding. The, so I don't know. So I don't need to buy a monkey. Right. I need a monkey. <laughs> Last night I went out and bought two new ducks and two new chickens. Because, it was yesterday morning. Oh, yesterday morning. <laughs> I didn't need that. I definitely didn't. But they had um, Pekin, no, not, yeah, Pekin, the big white fluffy ducks. They have those two babies. And then I got some Americanas for pretty eggs for chickens. My duck also hatched three eggs. So whatever. Okay. Um, questions. Park. <laughs> it sounds like Jurassic Park every time she calls. The dogs <laughs> decide to like go at each other every time. Nancy, you mentioned a new guillotine cutter that you purchased. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Is it the one on your Amazon store? Yes. Yes, but if I had to do it all over again, I would buy a tonic. The tonic has this thing that you lay down on the sticky board so that it stays in place. It's like a guide, a little plastic guide thing, right? Was it plastic? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's still down in the basement. If I could get the blade sharpened or ungunked. I'm bad about if I want to trip down, trim down some sticky board after I've already got the stuff stuck to it. I just trim it and then the gun gets the all sticky, over. With the sticky, yeah, with the sticky yeah, not so. covered. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's also not big enough for some of the pieces that she does, mm -hmm. but it's a good cutter. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's a good if you're not going to do anything big, it cuts really, really well. So like butter, yeah. But for those two things, I would try to find a tonic. More expensive. We're very just like get it done like that's how we get so much stuff done so to take the time to like hold it and line it up like to yeah it always it, seems to be a hard bit off but so if you then have i gotta patience, go back and retrim it and if you have yeah. patience then it it's the one for you mm -hmm. but mom is just like eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> just, just get it done um jh indy how do you keep your bugs off your tomatoes she's got like aphids and stuff like that I mean, I have hornworms, so I couldn't tell you. But somebody put in there that they plant as many marigolds as they can, and they don't have that kind of bug population. I've never had hornworms. I have never had them. Like I do now, but I've also never planted 30 tomato plants and have them seven feet tall. So I have a feast for them. Have you ever canned the yard sauce? No. no. We freeze it so we don't have to can it because canning would be scary. Right? And I... I well, yeah. And, Botulism. <laughs> right. And I think I read somewhere that if you roast the tomatoes like that, that it changes and you shouldn't can them. I'm not sure, though. We've never canned anything. Mm -hmm. We've, not a thing. No. We've made, like, fridge pickles and things like that. We don't can stuff. Uh, it's a skill we'll probably learn one day, but t not, today's not that day. Yeah, no. <laughs> She's done. <laughs> The Wooly Bee. Which American Girl dolls did you have? I had Samantha. I had Mama. Molly and Kirsten. I was very spoiled. I still have them. Uh, she like made me and my friends matching clothes and um, cra she did craft shows at that time. So I would always get to pick out an outfit at the craft shows and I was very spoiled. She had a lot. I had a lot. I had a dresser for her. I had a lot. Um, armoire. An armoire. Sorry. Yes. Now my kids both have two each. 
Um, Shannon, how about a Priscilla and Chelsea cookbook? It'd have to be a Priscilla cookbook because I just use mom's <laughs> recipes. It's all on my blog. You can find all kinds of stuff on my blog, so. Faye Dixon, is the fabric you stitched the last chock full on black Monaco? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Lynn, do you like how far Cliff has gone in Big Brother as an older person? Yes. Yes, definitely. But you still don't care about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, part of my problem probably too is that CBS decided not to be on DirecTV or DirecTV decided not to have CBS for like half of the season. So I was having to find it on an app and watch it on my iPad and, you know. Just didn't get into it. Mm-hmm. Helen, six to, okay, so she used, she didn't grow tomatoes, she bought them. She used six to seven large tomatoes and two pints of cherry or um, grape tomatoes for her sauce. Okay. For people who were asking that last week. Kayla, what do you use for your garden soil in your beds and do you have them layered? I used, um, she was in my boxes, she was asking. I used the compost soil mix from a local nursery. It, it wasn't very good. It's going to be the, mm -hmm. not the cheapest option, but like the mid-grade option with compost in it. But you could tell it was still rocky. So I put a bag of Pro Mix in each of them. They're big cubic foot, two cubic foot bags mm -hmm. um, in each of my beds. And that's really helped with moisture retention. And um, it's also good because I put a lot of flowers in my beds and that helps keep them healthy as well. All right. Next, Andrea, have you ever made your own project bags? No. That's like canning. <laughs> it's foreign to us, so we don't know how. No. There's like vinyl and zippers. And there's like and not like... enough time in the day. <laughs> um, we we opened the box of Ziploc. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amy, now that your son has moved to Austin, how long until you visit him and swing by Waco? <laughs> I just like spit all over. <laughs> Hopefully soon. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, she was talking to you. Right? I know. <laughs> I thought you were going with me. Speaking of Tanner, he, I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram or mom's Facebook, he has partnered up with a business called Treasured Collectibles and they're selling this um, beautiful, we had to see it before. I was like a pre thing. Mm -hmm. um, this beautiful collector's item for Ford enthusiasts. So if you haven't seen it yet, you can go to our Instagram. Or it's is, on your Facebook. Is he in Washington, D.C. or Washington today? For a Washington car show. for a car show. A Ford. So if you go to a Ford car show in Washington. He's walking He's around there. there. Is he walking around or does he have a booth? I don't know. I thought he just visits. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we just don't know. We just say, <laughs> can you show us pictures of your dog? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Debbie, just watch the quilt as you go tutorial on Fat Quarter. Do you wash the jelly rolls first? If you're using your own fabric, do you wash before cutting into strips? No. As you can see by the theme of us, we are just like, let's go. Um, yeah. like 90 miles fire, an hour. It's a fire drill to pack the car. Like, get in, get in, we gotta go. Um, that was this morning. Um, Not me. No, right, no. Um, no. You should wash you should? the fabric. I don't know. I feel like Kimberly washes her fabric, doesn't she? No, she starches her fabric. She doesn't wash it. She doesn't oh, I... like the way it looks washed. <laughs> oh. She doesn't like to even wash her quilt. <laughs> oh. She doesn't like that bumpy look. She likes them smooth. Oh, she would love your quilt, so <laughs> smooth as <laughs> baby's butt. No. <laughs> um, we don't. I don't know if that's right or wrong. I don't know. We don't. <laughs> Teresa, I'm, I'm sure it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, I'm having surgery. I'm sorry, knee, knee replacement surgery. I think she said. Um, then she can still stitch. Yep, yeah. <laughs> She's made chili yard sauce and beef stew for the freezer for her husband. Any recommendations for casseroles or anything? She's looked, but just can't make decisions. Oh. Tortellini soup she has on hand. She also makes a lot of. Um, no, I make that uh, taco soup. What's it called? No. Chicken enchilada, right? Oh, chicken. The pioneer woman. Enchilada soup. No, it's no. not. It's. Oh my God. Also, she can make honey lime chicken enchiladas too mm -hmm. and put those in the freezer. Uh, broccoli chicken casserole mm -hmm. is my ultimate favorite. Mine too. Ultimate, uh, which is so easy and it's in like every cookbook that you could ever imagine. Any old school cookbook, right? Mm -hmm. What What is the taco soup that she. I don't know. Tortilla soup? Yeah, tortilla, tortilla soup. Tortilla soup. Lord. 
I make that and I freeze it and then I can take that out and have it for lunch. And those little, we use them for our strawberry jam, those little I use the flies. Oh. I put the rice in the refrigerator mm -hmm. to get it cold so that it doesn't soak up and same, I put the bags in the refrigerator and then I put the rice in it. So if it's, if the chicken soup is cold and you put the rice in it, the rice doesn't soak up all the juice. Okay. So you... You yes, I cool, cool them separately. Right. And then and you then put them, put them bags. together. Right. Okay. All right. I got it. And then if you like slice up fresh avocado and add fresh cilantro, it's amazing. And lime. Mm -hmm. And we also cut tortillas into strips and uh, fry those up, put salt and lime on those as well. Or you well. could just use like taco chips or something if you wanted to. Or no yeah. nothing. A lot of times I do nothing. So I was just giving him ideas. Okay. <laughs> I was contributing <laughs> to the cookbook. Um, okay, Sue, what red color did Chelsea use for flowers on the harvest jar? I haven't stitched the harvest jar yet. I, I stitched the... Red? Yeah. So red was used for um, the first jar, which was a retreat exclusive, and that was a liberty jar. Right? Right. But okay. was that licorice red? Yeah, licorice red. But that's not released to everybody yet. I did, yet. I did was... see somebody do the sunflowers in red on our Stitching with the Housewives group, but I can't remember who that was. Okay. Dorothy, when using Rit dye, have you used antique white Monaco or just white? We've used all the yeah, all, all the, the Monacos. <laughs> all the Monacos. Amanda, what's the clicker you use for your videos? So my clicker came with my tripod mm -hmm. and it just has a button on here that says go and it Bluetooths to my phone and then it makes my phone half the time camera it works, go. And half the time it doesn't. Yeah. And then she bangs it on the table and takes the battery out. <laughs> and get really frustrated and say bad words. Um, <laughs> she does. <doesn't. and, laughs> And then only because of this. And then I dropped it when we were doing the yard sauce video. And so the button fell out. So I can't turn it on or off. So we're just hoping these batteries last until I buy a new tripod. Okay. Um, all right. Last but not least, Terry Lee Crafts. Can one of you hold up your housewives bag with whips in it to judge the size of it? Yeah. One second. Mine's empty. Oh, mine's never empty. You could fit probably 20 of those project bags in there. Yeah. 15, 20. What I brought today. It's big. And maybe one or two. I mean, and I still have a lot of room to go, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven whips in here, and I've got pajamas and extra <laughs> clothing. So for the baby. So it's it's big. I think the measurements are listed on it at the Fat Quarter Shop. Absolutely. Okay. Also, uh, when Chelsea held up Boo, it looks like she had another whip on there. I did. I'll show you when I show Boo because I worked on Boo this week. Your plumes were going and I thought somebody was at the window. Okay. That's all the questions we have. There's no pumpkins week. out there, Tara, so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you start. Yeah, yeah. No pumpkins yet. <laughs> okay, so. What did you do this week? Previous finishes. What I do this week? Yeah. I don't remember. This was a free chart from With Thy Needle and Thread, and I think it was on her blog. Okay. It's old. But I mounted it on a pumpkin. Where'd that come from? Walmart. Okay, so that was last year or the year before I did that. I used to have it finished a different way, and I took it apart and refinished it. And this was behind us, and we had lots of questions on it. This is Blessed Bee, also from With Thy Needle and Thread. Some yellow thistly things, a fifth thrift store frame. Mm -hmm. And then there's fabric in the back of it, and then I mounted it on top of it. And she uh, chalk painted the right. board. All right, you can show your one finish, and then I'll show mine. I don't know if I showed this or not. I don't think she did. I, we can't remember, so we're showing it again. This is by Heart and Hand. Mm -hmm. uh, Christmas Cheer, the first one. Can that you show, up in the show front. this next to it? I also stitched this and I finished it this week. This was one of our Jolly July. She finished hers a while ago, but I don't think, I think it got put on the table and nobody saw it. So I got to finish mine this week. We think. She just did two pieces of sticky board back to back to finish the back. Added a snowflake button. Some it's little berries. Button, it's a wood snowflake. Woods. We are sassy. Isn't it cute? It's a full of track. It's cute. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. Okay, so I have some finishes this week, and I'm so excited. First, I'll show you Kimberly's Harvest Jar. 
So Kimberly is a lot plainer than us in her wants for her finishing. So I mounted it on sticky board and added black ticking stripes behind it and then a black striped ribbon and then a ticking striped button too. So it's really cute. I have to send it back to her this week. And this frame I got at Hobby Lobby and it had a, a, a beach theme and beach <laughs> words down at the bottom and it has a a little stand an easel it also has a clip on there to hold the yeah but the clip like was not attached and it came off so i had to glue it down so so don't use the clip mm -hmm. i'm just wrong about everything today. no it just like pulled right out it okay, was bad next this is heart and hands yield crow sampler this was one of my stitch mania starts and it's done in one color it's done in sticks and twigs from classic color works and I found this pumpkin at Hobby Lobby and mounted it on there. I added, I actually painted these leaves because they were gold with watering can chalky paint from Lori Holt available at the Fat Quarter Shop. And I added this orange check bow and a velvet pumpkin and I mounted it on sticky board with batting and then um, homespun underneath that's plaid. It's really cute. So it just sits on the shelf like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Calvin. All right, so Calvin is in a little galvanized container that she filled with pumpkins. With chicken wire. So I bought this in the, at Hobby Lobby when they were clearancing out all their spring stuff and it was 90% off. So I think I paid like a dollar. Yeah, because it was 12. Okay. Dollar 20. <clears throat> but I mounted it on sticky board and I did add magnets to this because I might want to do it again. So yeah, I had to add, add two because they're um, it, to make it tall enough. And then I did a ruffle around the edge, added a bow, and then one of those rusty jingle bell pumpkins. And I put some little buffalo check and white pumpkins inside. This will be on my blog this week. I haven't had time to put it on there yet. And this lid is not sitting right because I got the pumpkins up too high, but. And then this is from Teresa Kogut. I stitched this like every day last year for <laughs> Witchy Wednesday. And I finally finished it. And then, you know, I went down the basement because I wasn't thinking of Halloween and now I'm thinking of it. So I finished it on this pumpkin. I added it to sticky board. I added another sticky board with the orange and black plaid and then did a row of the ticking stripe ruffle around it. And then I added the trick or treat that I spray painted with chalk paint. Chalkboard paint. Mm -hmm. So I think this is my favorite one today. I love this. I like the bucket with Calvin. Do you? Mm -hmm. I like that one too. But anyway. And I like the padding that you did on that. You also didn't explain that you changed some stuff out. Oh, That's right, 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 right. So it had the year and the initials down the bottom right, corner. Right, you would put your year and initials. Right here. This is on my blog today and I explained what I did. So you can head over there to see what I did to change the bottom. But I love it. Okay. And I didn't also use the buttons because the buttons were black and I did brown. So That's a good like travel project too because you only have one thread right. color that you're using. And yep. it's, it's pretty small. I started that on the plane to San Diego. Not going there anymore. Mm-mm. Right. Tanner. <laughs> no more beach for you. Oh, this Thanks, is... Bonnie. <laughs> We're happy for them. We're excited for them. Austin is beautiful. Okay. Wh what do I do now? Whips. Whips. Oh, wait. They're in my bag. All right. First up, I have a finish. I can't show I love this, this one again. I always Just forget. It. No, because that's what we're... This. Sorry. All right. So this home sweet haunted home. This is by uh, Cassandra Calco Conforti of Fairy Wool in the Wood, and then it's in the this year's Halloween cross stitch just cross stitch magazine. It's so cute. And I just used colors I that I had it. on hand. It is called for DMC, but I used um, like sticks and no black coffee, bamboo. And um, Toffee by Gentle Arts. Okay. 
Next, we I have some more work on this one. This is uh, Jardin Privé Halloween. Love that fabric. I do too. And I got more of his body done. I need to go mm -hmm. back to that one. All right. And the one I worked the most on is ooh. sorry, I had them all on the table and then I wanted to show that. So And then this was my um, other whip that I have on here. It's red, white, and moo. It is part of the Star Spangled Swine. Star Spangled Swine. It's an um, ornament that I am uh, doing. Okay. And hopefully you guys all saw the sneak peek yesterday of yeah. the ghosts. Running, and you weren't too put off by running, Calvin. Running amok on the farm. Yeah, Calvin's practicing his scary Halloween faces. He doesn't need to <laughs> practice much. <laughs> Is that all your whips? Mom is out of, is that all my whips? Yes. Okay. So we're continuing with the ultimate beginner quilt along. We're doing it. And we reversed these blocks in the way that they were supposed to, but I think. we, yeah, we still did them. Yeah, right. We, <laughs> we did the half square triangles. We just kind of <laughs> mm -hmm. maneuvered them. So this was also on my blog this week and... So we're on this block four, right? This was week four. Okay. Isn't it cute? So this was cute. week three. This was week two, two. And this was week one. So we're learning. I mean, it's interesting. It's hard to cut some of it, but we're learning. And there's really good directions and there's videos every week. So this is on my blog and there's links to how you can find out more about it. So we hope that you'll join us. We're having a lot of fun. We have to do one today. So we do it before it's due. Um, mm -hmm. We're trying to stay caught up. Because so we do it together. So we have to do it when she's here. Yes. So we don't get the advantage of watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> Which would probably help us a lot. <laughs> yes. We just phone a friend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then we don't want to look stupid. So we're like, no, we don't ask that. Yeah. No, don't ask that. Just, just leave it. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so my whips. Oh, I guess we could talk about this. That's fine. All those weren't your whips? Oh, I forgot one over there, too. Let me go get it. So this is Old Red Barn and our Stitch Along, the Pity okay. Party Sale, PC Old Red Barn. Because <laughs> Chelsea's already got one and I don't. But I got a little bit more done on the barn. And I really love this fabric. This is that whitewash board from... Fabric flare and ours came from the fat quarter shop. It looks like ship black. Were you okay alone while I was gone? No. Okay. Yeah, I got kind of used to it. Oh, <laughs> oh, she's got a big head. I started this one last night, and by this morning I'd already messed it up, so I have to undo the on a whirly gig by heart and hand. I have one extra stitch in that squirrel. I got really close there. Just pull. <laughs> so that stinks. So many of you liked our boas and our headscarves last week. Okay, and then for Witchy Wednesday. This is her new project that she's going to work on every single day of the year until it's done. I don't have that much more left to do on that, to tell you the honest yeah, truth. Well, I feel like it's missing a lot. There's a basket and oh. there's just scattered pumpkins. It's not that big. So it shouldn't take me that long. October 31st by, no, Bittersweet and Broomsticks right. by, um, with that needle and thread. Because I got the whole top done, I got her done, so I just have that. that. Yeah. That's not that much. Yeah. But she's really cute. So I'm enjoying that. And then, of course, I stitched that, the rest of the, the crow to get that, Ready. this one. Ye old crow. Yep. And you did the jar again. Yep. But I, I did that last week, didn't I? I don't know. You do a lot. But I have to take out the squirrel, and then I'm going to get this one done, and then I'm going to do the the September square dance because my container's empty. I took the August one off. I couldn't. It didn't go with the Here. rest. 
Do you see it? Oh, in all its glory. It's one of my favorites. I, I, I love it. Okay, sorry. And over there is Plum Street <coughs> Samplers. A bowl full of scary two or something. Oh, it's leaning. Must have been from you just plomping in here. <laughs> I get it from you. Okay. <laughs> I have tennis shoes on today because my feet have been hurt. Well, we're, now we know where my phone is. <laughs> we're in like year two of this or something like that. If you could. Just... I couldn't find my phone before we started. All right, next Sorry. up. Do um, you have all your whips shown? Yeah, I think so. Good clean up your yeah, I finished, I finished this one and I finished the crow. That's my 11th Stitch Mania finish too. I just want to show all the things that I finished last week just to feel like... Hey, I did something. Okay, this. Yes, we got some gifts. This is from Tammy. She wrote us a beautiful note. And she has an Etsy shop. Oh. And she's making things out of old and crusty things. So she made us these beautiful, so this is like a little jello mold. Vintage stitchers on Etsy, right? And then this is a mason jar cap. And they are beautiful pin keeps. Aren't they cute? Okay. Um, Oh yeah, vintagestitchers.etsy.com, but of course we'll link it below, mm -hmm. and it's Tammy, and she made these for us, and we are so They're grateful. so cute. Little bee scouts. But the little jello That's mold. a little jello, yeah. I thought that was so cute. I'm gonna put these back in here. Okay. My thank yous. And then, and then, oh, we got our uh, fabric of the month from Fat Quarter Shop. What color is it this time? This is the um, white chocolate. That sounds so good right now. Mm -hmm. I like a little dark chocolate from white chocolate. White chocolate's too sweet on its own. But there's, you can join these clubs still. 18 by 27 piece of uh, linen, 18 by 25 count. piece of um, Ada. You can sign up for either the Ada club or the linen club. Mm -hmm. This is a very pretty color, mm -hmm. and it'd be very pretty tea dyed. Mm -hmm. awesome. Somebody's trying to get a hold of her. Yes, my joint fabrics. <laughs> Come buy stuff. <laughs> um, this is from Elizabeth. <coughs> yeah, because you got that, and I wanted it. Hey, right. thank you so much, Elizabeth. This is absolutely beautiful. I need to stitch this. This was intimidating to me. Now we can stitch it together. Oh, here we go. Another sow. I have a tickle in my throat. I feel like allergy season or because every all the weather's changing. I just feel, ugh. Do you feel it? No. I feel great. Susan <laughs> sent us this. As an extra, she accidentally ordered a duplicate, so this will be featured in an upcoming giveaway. Thank you, Susan. Should we add it to the pile today? Yeah, let's do okay. it today. Okay. Okay. Is the pen over there that I can write on here? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then this. Is from Regina. She sent us a lovely note and then uh, two Lizzie Cates. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. These were for giveaways too? Mm -hmm. Okay, so future giveaway for this. And then from Denise, um, dot our dot lady goose. at Dot Dot Goose, she sent us this beautiful card. Dot Dot Goose on Etsy. She made me this special little hidden Mickey leopard bag to take to Disney. You can see the Minnie Mouses right here. It's so cute. Perfect. And with the beautiful fabric, um, early morning? No, early bird. Early bird, sorry, early bird. We, I just ordered a pattern from Fat Quarter and we're going to try to make a quilt out of early bird. <laughs> like a hard quilt. <laughs> like a, a hard quilt. Like I looked at it and I was like, we could definitely do it. <laughs> she First she wanted me to make the Lori Holt, the granny square, square yeah. one. Oh my God, they're like squares this big and she's, I can't do that. I know, but I saw um, Pretty Southern had one. She was hanging it up in her guest room or something but like that. She's and, good. <laughs> But I was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And then I'm looking through Lori's book and I'm like, this is absolutely, mom can do this. She could definitely do it. She's like, I can't do it. <laughs> so there's a project bag to match the. 
the purse that she made. Sorry, we, we did that. And she also sent me a gift card for Disney, and I can't even tell you how we, we I was, are like, blown shocked. away by people's yes. generosity. Like, this community is ridiculously generous and ridiculously kind and you know oh going gosh, through somebody really wants to talk to me don't home they? depot now <laughs> the flowers are on sale <laughs> we are just so grateful and so thankful for all of you mm -hmm. um and yes, then just thank you here, so much denise and and look, please go look at her etsy shop she's got lots of nice bags your generosity and sending us the extra charts if you have them to to pass on mm -hmm. to somebody who will stitch it i mean it's it's people like you who keep this just oh absolutely phenomenal all right and then this is from jordan basic stitches basic stitches sorry um a thank you card right on ray. oh ray and ron sorry they have their own needle minders so she sent us each two of them aren't they so cute they look like um bottle caps kind mm -hmm. of but it's called the basic bunch and basic stitches. They have their own needle minders. Absolutely adorable. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. They have a YouTube channel, basic stitches. And yeah, then she was the one trying to get Etsy into shop. our room at the Minnesota retreat. She was asking us our room number. And no, just... don't take that one yet. That goes with, the... oh, you are on that. Never mind. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Guys, I can't do anything right today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Denise's stuff, please. And then this, this was another generous gift. This is from Mary. Mary sent us so much, and she packed this. She packed it full. And our goofy mailman put that in the mailbox, and I couldn't get it out. <laughs> I had to have Parker get it out of the mailbox. She said it's for Chelsea. It is an apron book to make an apron, and these to make are a some, romantic apron. Yeah, these are beautiful. <laughs> if anybody agrees that wearing a, an apron is kind of like um, Garnier says, was a two piece apron, <laughs> romantic. <laughs> I'll make it. Just Romancing cut off the, the ordinary. Romancing the ordinary. Using your beautiful china and everyday things. Like making, I don't know. Don't save it. Just oh use it. Oh my goodness. It. For the love of Mary. <laughs> <laughs> um, this miniature punch needle embroidery. Look at the little chicken on back. Chelsea needed my phone earlier and I'm like, I can't find it. So now we know it's on the table somewhere. But don't admit that. And then some fabric. Oh, that's my iPad. Is Your iPad is not quite done. And then uh, some charts. Are those all punch needle or some of them punch needle? These or are no? punch needle that I've shown. They're beautiful. And then this is um, a Chessie and Me. This is a cross stitch. Very nice. Okay. Thank you so much. And then I think this is last but not least. Can you do this? Thank you. Creative Carol, again, sent us amazing bags. So she sent us two of the big bags to take to the retreat for giveaways. So if you're going to the Arkansas retreat, we have two of them to bring. These are perfect for, um, so they're not double just, sided. Right, double sided, clear vinyl. Um, they'll fit your Q-snaps if you're um, a hoop or a Q-snap person. Also, if you're using, she had she had shown, right? She had shown that um, like cutting mats and things like that for mm -hmm. quilters. Mm -hmm. um, this will definitely carry. And these are like double and four, so these straps are really uh, heavy duty on mm -hmm. here too. And then she sent us two bags as well. So go check out her Etsy shop. It's Creative Carol, and it starts with a K. And we will definitely link that below. Yeah, so we'll go link check out all her bags. The beautiful bags here. Yes. Okay. These. With this. <laughs> you can put those with this. And, and I'll, I'll know this. Suitcase. Yeah, we've started making our list. I need to. There we go. Uh, we've started making our list for things to bring to Arkansas. Mm-hmm. We're really excited. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous about leaving like my garden, things like that. I'm scared I'm going to come home and it's going to be done. But yep, me too. Tis the season and then we just go get pumpkins and we start fall. So I harvested, I mean, I'd say close to, what do you, I mean, 100 pounds of tomatoes this week. Probably. Last week the same. I have filled my freezers with yard sauce. I'm bringing mom tomatoes now so she can make yard sauce. I have plenty to spare. Last year, it was the opposite. Mm -hmm. I was giving her the tomatoes, and now this year, she has to give them to me. Which, which whatever. I mean, I'm eating here majority of the weekends anyway, so it's <laughs> okay. 
All right, that's what we have. Um, last week we had some giveaways, right? So we had six giveaways. You all had to guess. You didn't have to guess correctly in order to win. So mm -hmm. don't try to be figuring it out that way. Um, and but make sure you look at social media later today to see what it is. Yep, the first sneak peeks were out yesterday. Kathy and mom posted them. Um, uh, you did it on Facebook and Instagram, mm -hmm. both of them, so you could see a little piece of it. Um, okay, so the first winner is going to be for the uh, 18 by 25 lamb's wool color of Ada. And this goes to Helen Robertson. Forgot to do my spiel. When you win something, go to our email address listed below. Tell us what you won, the number, and what you won. Um, if you use a um, cute name on YouTube, make sure you tell us both so we have it all mm -hmm. ready to go. If you don't hear from us in 24 hours, email us again. Sometimes our Gmail is funky. Mm -hmm. Don't know why. And everything has gone mm -hmm. out except for the, the last one. happy camper. Right. So, so you should be getting your prizes in the mail if you haven't already gotten them. Yep. If you haven't, let us know so we can figure it out. Okay. Number one uh, goes to Helen Robertson. So congratulations, Helen. Number two is that same thing uh, from Fat Quarter Shop, Lamb's Wool, 18 by 25, which I'll Ada. This goes to Sindra Huddleston. So congratulations. Next up is the um, cross-stitch journal, which mom's been using, and she absolutely loves it. So she wasn't a journal person before, but now that she's been able to keep track I of her projects. Right now. I have the one for Jolly July and the one for Stitch Mania. Yeah. Um, and you also get a Ronnie. So Ronnie Needleminder, this goes to Justine Stitching. Number four is the Bunny Hill Designs Cottage on the Corner. This goes to Diana Saunders. Number five, Plum Street Samplers, Peace, Love, and Purpose. This is really pretty. Sorry about the glare. Judy Ward, 03. And all these giveaways this week are courtesy of the Fat Quarter Shop. Number six is from, is, <laughs> um, an autumn, uh, by Tralala. And this goes to Ellen Hammond. So congratulations, Ellen. All six of you, get a hold of us through your email. Send us your physical address so we can mail it out to you. Mm -hmm. Gmail address is below. Typically. <laughs> All right. So for today's giveaways, uh, we already know the question you're going to answer. We're prepared today. Uh, we always like to do this when uh, mom gets to give out one of her collaborations with Kathy. Uh, so this week's question you're going to answer is where you like to spend your stitching money, where you like to spend it. LNS, brick and mortar, um, online, or if you shop at more than one place, give us both of them or three of them Let or whatever. Know. We love store shout outs. Love it. All right. So there's going to be three of the boo charts. So that is one, two, and three. Or is that just one? That's one. Number one okay. is boo. boo. Number two is uh, holiday hoopla Halloween. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this. Okay. Number three gets uh, two of the farmhouse Christmas mm -hmm. patterns. You're going to get the grandma's quilt mm -hmm. and you're going to get cockadoodle doo. That's number three. Number four is Cinnamon Stars by Plum Street Samplers. That was from Fat Quarter. All right. Okay. And then the buckets are is, number. So number number five, five is the buckets. There's four buckets that go with the that I use to finish. Is, is it behind there? Yes. I'm not gonna, uh, I'll knock it down. Okay. You guys have seen it. It's the bucket finish. Okay. So there's four buckets. Three of them were from Tammy. We had it on here and I used it to cover up my whip. The box is still over there. The box. And one of them was from LaDonna. And the one from LaDonna will come with her Cherry. set of three. There's a needle winder, a scissor fob, and a thread keep. So you'll get three of the sampling of memories pieces with the one that LaDonna sent. And then these three are from Terry. I apologize, Terry. I had your name written down and then I used it to show that magazine. So three buckets she sent us. She was able to grab them and she wanted to share the love. So mm -hmm. she sent us three to give away to you guys for people who can't find the buckets. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was number what? Five. 
five. So there's five giveaways today. You list one, two, three, four, five, whichever numbers that you want. Um, don't say all, make sure you write down the numbers. That's how we can pick them. And also put in there where you like to spend your stitching money. Mm -hmm. Be a mm -hmm. subscriber, like the video. Yes. And we went over 16,000 subscribers. So we're on our way to 20,000. You know, when we get to 20,000, we're going to do a big giveaway. Yeah, so. 21 giveaways, <laughs> one for good luck. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea three five six. Oh, we're done. Priscilla's two thousand on Facebook and Priscilla's two thousand at blogspot .com. And we didn't have to stop once for cash. And join us in our stitching with the housewives group. Mickey must be really entertaining today. Mm -hmm. He's learned how to put Legos together too. So I put Legos in the, the blocks, not Legos. What are they called? Duplo. Duplo blocks. He's really excited about that. So if you get your finishing inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects and. Like I always say, it's nice to be appreciated because I do share a lot. So we will link everything that we can below. Uh, and I'm loving that. seeing all your boo, the people that are starting <coughs> to stitch it and receiving it in the mail. Everybody's so excited and it's great. It's so great. Absolutely love it. So Is that I think it? that's it. All right, we've got football tomorrow. We'll mm -hmm. let you know how it goes. We have shirts to make today. We have quilts to make. We have yard sauce to make. Mom's got dinner to make for me. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm tired already. <laughs> I, I got to find my phone. <laughs> table to clean up. All right, guys, so we will see you next week.